Hey guys, today we're looking at real world combinations and compositions of functions. Now these are all real world problems, so there's no real left side to our notes today, so I just need you to set up that top half. So we have some new um, terms in our toolbox, revenue, profit, and rebate. And then from there you can kind of set it up however you want. So let's look at the first question. We're going to go over those terms as we see them in our word problems. So combination or composition. The athletics department is selling discount cards to raise money. The discount cards cost $2 a piece with an initial creation fee of $75. Athletes will sell the cards for $10 each. Okay, so we have quite a bit going on here. So let's look at what it wants us to do because it's probably going to have us break the problem up into a couple different pieces. So first it wants us to write a cost function. All right, so what is everything that is part of the cost function? What is costing us money? So the discount cards, all right, so they cost $2 a piece, so $2 each, with an initial fee of $75. So write a cost function. Okay, so cost, so C equals, I'm going to leave a space because it's a cost function. So remember, the only difference is I have those parentheses and we're going to put our independent variable inside. So the cost is, so the discount cards are $2 a piece. So $2 each. Um, discount card, so D. So do $2 per discount card. Um, and we also have an initial fee of $75. So they're costing us $2 each plus that initial $75. Okay, so my cost function is going to be C of what? The cost of the discount cards. So there's our cost function. Now it wants us to write a revenue function. All right, so we talked about this a little bit in the last unit, but let's go ahead and review. So revenue. Revenue is all the money coming in. So any money that we are taking in for selling these discount cards, that is going to be the revenue. Now do we get to keep all of that money? No, but revenue is all the money that is coming in. So what money is coming in? Well, when the athletes are selling the cards, this is where we're gonna make our money. So they are selling the cards for $10 each. Okay, so our revenue function, so I'll use R, R of something equals. So what are the, we selling the discount cards for? $10 each. $10 what? Per discount card. So the revenue of the discount cards. Notice how both of my independent variables are the same. Okay? Yes. That should happen when we, this kind of problem, when we're dealing with one thing we're dealing with, the discount cards, we just have a little bit of extra information. So write a profit function. Again, are we making every penny that comes in from the sales of the cards? No, we first have to pay out, well, the cost, that fee of $75, and we have to pay $2 a piece. So write a profit function. So my profit function, again, I'm writing a function rule, so it's gonna be the profit of what? of the discount cards. So the profit of the discount cards is going to be found by what? So the cost, are we are we gaining the cost or do we have to pay out the cost? What's cost? We have to pay it out. We're gaining the revenue, so we have our revenue. So R of D and then we else but we still have to pay out the $75 fee and the $2 per card. So I I am going to subtract my costs from my revenue. So all the stuff I have to pay for is going to be subtracted from what we have coming in. All right, so our profit function. Well, what is my revenue function? This is going back to a couple days ago. 
when we're adding and subtracting functions. So our revenue function, R of D, is 10D. So 10D minus, so what is all the costs? $2 per discount card, so 2D, plus that $75 fee. So remember, when you're subtracting that function, you put the whole function in parentheses because we have to make sure we subtract both terms. So we have $10 per discount card minus the $2 we have to pay for each of them, and we also have to subtract that $75 off the top. So our profit function is, so P of D is 10D minus 2D. So 8D, so we're making $8 per discount card minus the $75 creation fee. So this is our profit function. So we have our profit function to figure out how are we going to find out how much money we're actually making. And that comes, that's why we had to start with our cost and revenue. Because we've got money coming in, but we don't get to keep all of it. So revenue is all the money coming in. Profit This is the money gained after our costs. I'm going to put S in parentheses because sometimes we have one thing. This time we had two. We had the $2 per card and the initial creation fee. Okay? So let's look at this next one. The suggested price of a new hybrid car is P dollars. The dealership advertises a factory rebate of $2,000 and a 10% discount. Okay, so write a function, R of P, given the cost of the car after receiving the factory rebate. Okay, so if we're receiving a rebate, well, first of all, do you guys know what a rebate is? So we have a factory rebate of $2,000. What that means is you get $2,000 off of your price. Okay, so R of P, whoa. so what are we, what's happening with the rebate? So we have a rebate of $2,000. Now how does that affect our price? Well, if we have a rebate, we're getting $2,000 off of the price. So our price is doing what? It's decreasing by 2,000. So if we get a rebate, that's just $2,000 off. So we're subtracting $2,000 from the price. Now it wants us to write a function D of P given the cost after the factory discount. All right, so our discount was a 10% discount. So D of P equals, now if we're getting 10% off the price, okay? Don't write this, I'm just giving an example. I have a lot of people that'll go P minus and 10%. You guys remember to change it to a decimal, but then that's what you leave me, P minus 10%. That does not say P minus 10%. This says P minus 10 cents. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's a difference. If you're subtracting 10%, 10% of what? 10% of the price. So this is one way to write it. How I like to think about it, when I'm getting a percentage off, when I have a discount, what percentage are we left paying for? So if we have a 10% discount, that means I still have to pay 90% of my price. So either would work, P minus... Um, 0.1 or 1 tenth or 10 hundredths P, or you can just simplify it to 9 tenths P, or 90% of the price, because that's what we're still paying for. All right, now notice how these are written a little bit differently. Um, it's because I'm not sure which one you'll see on the EOC, so I just want us to be confident with both. 
What we're getting into now, these are compositions of functions. So our first example, this was a combination of functions. I just combined two functions using an operation, okay? Compositions of functions is when we're applying one function to another function. Whoa. So r of d of p is how you would write that. I don't like them, so I always like to write it like this. Looks super confusing, okay? If you do it one piece at a time, it's not that bad. So r of d of p and d of r of p. So one of them were given the um, discount first, and one of them were given the rebate first. So we're wanting to know which combination is gonna give us the better deal. So whatever my function is on the outside, so r, I'm gonna keep r and I'm going to replace d of p with what d of p is. So what's d of p? d of p, 0.9p. Okay, so now, is that all right? So all we did is replace d of p with what d of p is. So now what we're going to do is we are going to put, we're replacing p with 0.9p in our r function, which is our rebate function. So I'm going to replace the rebate function of p minus 2,000. Well, what's p? p is now 0.9p minus 2,000. So I'm just replacing R, which is P minus 2,000, but I no longer have P, I have 0.9P, or the 90% of the price. So from here, we're just plugging in. So it told us that the price of the car is $20,500. Okay, so if I pay 90% of the price, I'm paying 90% of 20,500, and then I'm going to subtract my 2,000, because I'm gonna do order of operations, so multiply, and then I subtract. Um, yes, you are totally allowed to use a calculator on this. So I plug into my calculator, 90% of 20,500 is 18,000. 450 and then so this is applying the discount first so the discount first and then we get our rebate so now we're going to take that two thousand dollars and we figure out that the price when taking the discount first and then the rebate is a total of sixteen thousand four hundred and fifty quite a difference from our initial amount of 20,500. This is a really good real world application problem. Like you go to buy a car, they have a lot of offers out there and you have to figure out which one works best for you. So let's try the next one. And if you feel comfortable, go ahead and pause the video and try it. So this one says D of R of P. Okay, so I leave D and I'm going to replace R of P, well, with what R of P is. So R of P is P minus 2,000. So what this is saying is we're going to take our rebate first and then we're going to apply the discount. So first I have my rebate and now I'm going to plug it into my discount. So D of P is 0 0.9 times P. So 0 0.9 times P. And what's P this time? P minus 2,000. Okay, so we, are, we started off with our R of P, so P minus 2,000, and now we're just plugging this piece in for P into our discount function. Okay, so from here, you're just gonna go ahead and simplify like you already know how to do. 
So distribute that 90% to both terms. So I'm paying 90% of my price minus, ooh, but I gotta take 90% of 2,000. So because of that, I'm only getting an, oh, that is not cute, an $1,800 rebate, okay? So 90% of my price, so 90% of the $20,500, and then I get to take off 1800 is going to give us a final price of, dandy dandy calculator, so 90% of 20500 gives us, eighteen thousand four hundred and fifty minus eighteen hundred for a grand total of sixteen thousand oops where's my one sixteen thousand six hundred and fifty so which combination is the better deal well what do we want to pay, more or less for our car? We want to pay less. So the best combination is taking the discount first and then applying that rebate, okay? We saved an extra $200. It doesn't seem like much, but every penny adds up. Okay, so let's go ahead and try a few and come back and let's see where how you're doing.